Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazendary, and we are back today in this unboxing with a Travis Scott haul. This stuff dates back from a couple months ago because, well, the memes are true. It takes months and months to ship Travis Scott merch. So this is a collection of stuff from his Fortnite guy stuff, the Travi Patty collab, and the Cactus Trails. So there's about like maybe six, seven grand worth of items here, and there's a lot more on the way. I know I dropped a huge bag on the McDonald's stuff. I basically got one of everything. So with that being said, let's see what we got for this round of stuff. I'm gonna start with the biggest, most annoying package right here. Please go ahead, hit the like button. The reason why I'm saying this is annoying is because it broke and I had to move with all of this stuff. Maybe you guys will notice some of it says like B-Mint, that stands for basement, because that's why I was temporarily storing everything because I didn't know how I wanted my house to look yet. Oh, what a mistake it was to not do anything about this box because it, it, it has just caused me problems. So I'm gonna get it open and I'm finally gonna be able to see what I have for the personal, what I have to sell, how the item did over time, if I made money, if I lost money, and if it was a good investment or not. Hope you guys enjoyed the series, let's break it down. So coming up first, we have a couple t-shirts. This first one right here is the World Event t-shirt in a size large. Now, I'm not sure how some of these individual tees did over time, especially because, hey, this is Fortnite. I know there were some spins on like some PlayStation. So here's like a PlayStation logo version. And there was also just their own, you know, logo, this smiley face right here, it's all made an appearance. Fortnite meets Travis Scott design and a little bit of PlayStation inspiration. How is that gonna hold up for resale value? Six of the Travis Scott blanket. Now I was able to get six of these and the reason why I got six was because I saw how the other blankets have done from the previous collabs. If I keep this one brand new, I think there might be some good value in holding onto it for the most part. I do have one open downstairs at the moment, but you guys saw the picture. This was a new item for me at least to see in the streetwear game, a mouse pad, the world mouse pad. I grabbed a couple of these. I guess something in me was like, yo, this world event hoodie in a brown is gonna go absolutely crazy because I bought a full size run of them. Hopefully my prediction was correct. And if not, oh, I have a lot of hoodies. Oh my goodness. Nine blankets. Okay, sorry, it wasn't seven, it was nine, so actually ten. Yeah, so this this brown world tour stuff better have went crazy. Now, we also got a poster. Let's examine it at least. We have to check it out. Uh, maybe it's going to be worth framing. Maybe I bought one because I'm like, hey, this was... Oh, yeah, I bought this just because I'm going to definitely get it framed. I love the way it looks, to be honest. This uh, The logo that Travis Scott and his team came up with, really cool. I love the globe on fire, and I also just continually love the take of how they just incorporate the PlayStation into it. There's so many different renditions of logos in this that it just makes it cool not to want to grab one. It's like just a rip off poster basically of all the popular game companies. This one is definitely going to be for the personal, but for the most part on all of this stuff, I couldn't see myself wearing any of it on a day to day basis practically for myself. Mouse pad, uh, I'll keep a mouse pad for sure. And it looks like uh, there's also two jerseys, both of which I'm not gonna be personally rocking for myself. I'm not gonna decide to open them, ruin the potential BS value. And that's it for the uh, the giant, torn apart, mangled box. I'm glad I could get that thing out of my life finally. Money shot. All right, so right here we have some uh, Cactus Jack thumb grips. I really like the design on these, particularly because they completely ripped off what looks like the Super Nintendo logo. Very nice. Uh, we have a 2XL Beam t-shirt, so definitely will not fit me. We have a flame logo uh, beanie right here. So there you guys go, all the beanie people. What else? This is a repeat long sleeve shirt medium. Maybe this one was a personal. This had to be a personal. I'm taking the chance on the personal, guys. Okay, we definitely chose uh, a decent colorway to definitely take for the personal. I really like the logo. Uh, the blue and the cotton candy vibe, the, the complementation of the pink and the blue vibes. With the cream, I like this shirt. This t-shirt is pretty sick though, the, the Mike T of him kind of like, you guys remember the comic or the cartoon of him, Doodle Bob, the pencil? That was a good one. And we also have the Cactus Jack wrist rest keyboard, you put your hands there. Have a pretty thin rectangular package. This is gonna be a CD, the vinyl, excuse me, of the 
the Scots record. So uh, this is just a little personal pickup. I like the look of it. Might even keep it right here if it fits. So I'm out, it fits perfectly. Excellent. Got a small package. So sometimes like when they're sh taking a long time to ship, they'll just send you like one thing out of your order. Yeah, literally one thing. The Sicko Event T-shirt 2 in a black small. If only I knew what it looked like, I'm not gonna take it out and not make it brand new. Okay, so right here we have some Cactus Trails hiking socks. Now I know for a fact I need socks and with this winter coming up, I wanna be stocked up. So it comes in like a little Trails logo right there. I think that's pretty sick. But also these are some thick, thick socks. So if you guys are trying to like half size up in a pair of sneakers or something, maybe some hiking socks are the way to go. There's like a mustard yellow, a uh, Krabby Patty brown. All right, and then we have like a cream colorway right here for the socks. Good personal set. This ginormous package that I made actually, Cactus Trails, this wasn't the original box that it all came in. When I was moving, I had to consolidate a little bit so we were able to fit most of everything in one package here, but there's a lot of stuff. And I think for the most part, a lot of it is gonna be for sale, but I grabbed a couple personal things, mainly one of everything, I think. Yeah, so let's bust this open. We have first, looks like this stuff is coming in some really high quality bags. Uh, this is the Natural Performance Windbreaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this. It looks a little basic for my taste. Seal that nice up in that, uh, it's a really nice bag right here. They did a good job on that. They should use this for everything. Cactus Jack puffy print uh, hoodie. We have a Cactus Trails bandana. There's also, oh, I was actually hoping I was gonna get opening this pretty soon because I love these bottles. They're just great to have around with you. Uh, I like to refill my own water bottles and I love these. They're, they don't really leak that much, they're great. We also have a little boat keychain. So I do have a couple of the boat keychains, so I might as well open this one up. I know this is gonna be a personal, we don't have to worry about any sort of resale value. I'm gonna keep it right next to my other boat keychain. There's also a uh, Travis Scott mini compass. And what's in here? Cactus Trails thermometer keychain. And there's also, wow, this is actually a really high quality keychain for the most part. I can open it up here. Holy crap, do you guys see that and hear it as well? That's a really, really nice keychain. Right here we have the digital shirt in brown. Not sure what it looks like. Hopefully it did okay on the resale. This is a sick hoodie. This I can show you guys, the Cactus Trails as like a lightning puffy print texture. I'm assuming this one had to do good on the resale unless the retail price was just too high. Uh, what is this? This is an Eno. Yeah, portable hammock. I forgot, they, uh, they actually made an Eno. If you guys know what that is, it's literally a portable hammock. Another shirt right here, just a ton of different logos on it. Same deal, like I said, I did grab just about one of everything in the Cactus Trails. So for the most part, you guys are getting the gist of what the shirts are. Some of the more simpler logos and everything, the colorway. And a huge package, this is the, the Cactus Trails sleeping bag. I mean, I have a couple sleeping bags. Supreme, I feel like, definitely started the wave of the hype sleeping bag. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm getting a lot of Supreme vibes from this collab. I'm getting a lot of like, Travis is wanting to make his own brand and he wants to make it last. And that's very clear with giving us household items. You know, like let's say you grow out of the shirt or rip it, you might still have your water bottle lying around or you might still have your gamer mat. Like he's, he's really out there expanding and it's sort of a great motivation for myself as well with my brand. So what do you guys think of Travis Scott doing all of these different collabs, sort of really branching out there with Fortnite, with uh, doing his own cactus trails? Like this is some interesting stuff here. We're emerging, we're seeing like, the emergence of a, of a brand that's really beginning to take off. The guy can sell just about anything with his name on it. Right here we have some very tiny running shorts. Uh, these are not gonna be for me personally, but maybe some of you guys out there that are runners and everything could, could get down with this. All right, we got a huge box right here. I wonder how many things they managed to shove in it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be some more of the, uh, the Fortnite stuff. World Tide IT. The Rage Emote, the Goosebumps t-shirt, and there's the World Hoodie in black once again. I think I'm gonna keep this World Hoodie just because for myself, I like the design of it a lot. I've talked about it a couple times. I've got the blanket for myself. Figured the hoodie, gotta add this to the collection too. 
really nice print. Uh, the hype of like the gamer shaker cup. He did drop a gamer shaker cup in like a, I think it's maybe color changing. Maybe it's like glow in the dark. I've been waiting to see this now. This, I've been waiting to see what these look like. They, they ship me them like, like nobody's business. I mean, they just said, screw it. We're shoving them all in here and you're getting just this. Maybe not my best investment. Maybe it's a CD. Let's find out. Right here we have the Scots, and I thought this was actually a pretty cool set. I think I tripled up on it. It's like an art set on every CD. Super large and annoying package that was definitely just taking up too much time, too much space in the basement. Oh, right, right, right. All right, well, first we have the back bling shirt. We also have an astronomical cyclone shirt and the portrait shirt. But what else is in here, right? They couldn't have just given us that. We got some lunch boxes. So right here, this is the metal lunch box from Travis Scott. And one, oh, it fell out backwards. We got another one, guys. This is a huge package. And I also know for a fact, I got a couple emails stating that my items weren't all the way here yet. So I wanted to do this video before I started getting even more and then I wouldn't be able to open it all in one video. So that's why we had to, you know, we're gonna split it up here as I continually get the items in. This right here, I'm gonna be adding another rug to the collection. It's a PlayStation themed Cactus Jack rug, especially with all this PS5 hype coming out. Maybe collectors out there like me that really enjoy this kind of memorabilia, the bootleg, the ripoff logo, the stuff like that. You know, I think maybe people would enjoy this. Well guys, as I look around on the floor at this insane mess we've made, I'm gonna grab this camera and just I'm just gonna show you. But I just wanna say thank you so much for watching, tuning in. Be sure you guys check out the Pokemon channel. We've been absolutely crushing over there, so I'm gonna keep up the uploads on that channel. We also got a ton of projects and things coming up on this channel, so stay tuned to the consistent uploads. Thank you for watching, being here, leave a like. And if you're watching this video right now, you got time to watch another, so check out when I uh, brought some 7-Eleven SBs to 7-Eleven. It's the video on the screen right now. Stay positive, guys. Peace out.